Okay, can um give me a that's recording. Give me a thumbs up or some response. You can still hear me. I just want to make sure the mic is not taken over by OBS Studio. Can we can you hear me? Yes, no. Yes. Okay, cool. Um all right. So, um Today's assignment, we're going to be doing a little bit, uh, I mean, today's assignment is going to be like an ongoing project. Um, what I'd like everybody to do, in basically all my classes, is be able to put some of your um, work into a web page. Kind of like a, here's a, a gallery of my work kind of web page. And we're going to be using Google Sites. But before that, I'd like to have everybody learn a little bit about HTML. And rather than, as, does anybody know what HTML is? Just out of curiosity, I'm looking at the chat. I'm looking at the chat. I'm not seeing any answers. HTML, what does it stand for? Or even www. W, more people know the www than the HTML. Anyway, uh, HTML is hypertext markup language. Basically, all the web pages started out as just text files with with little tags in them, so they're, they're called tags. So let's scroll down to the new uh, page here and click on the W3Schools introduction because it has, you know, here's all the things we're gonna be doing. And the starting point is the W3Schools website. I should turn that into a link, but it's not. So you go to the W3Schools website, which I've already got open, and it opens up to this page. Um, which is different than the way where to go. Oh, here we go. Um, um, yes. If you're trying to screen share, we can't see anything. Oh, sorry. Thank you for mentioning that. I d I've got the recording going on, but not the screen share. Okay. I end up doing that a few, quite a lot, actually. Not share sound. Let's just share screen too. All right, and then we're gonna go to go back to W3 Schools. So here's the assignment. That's W3 Schools. Um, and this is the HTML tutorial. So as it says in the, in the um, on the document right here, a HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. Um, it's the standard language for creating web pages. It describes the structure, there's some elements Basically, it's telling the browser how to display the page. And so um, here's just some basic HTML. And then is this going to give me a new window? Yes, it is. So the Try It Yourself link, there's a cool kind of HTML editor. So if you wanted to edit and try it out and try different things, you go right here. And there's the HTML, HTML editor. And we can add, add another paragraph. P, another paragraph. And then the close tag. So, and then if you click run, it shows uh, another paragraph. So you could have all these different, all this different HTML over here. That's the starting point. Okay. So let's go back here and look at a few of the things that are showing in this HTML page. And you have the the this stuff for our purposes. We're not really going to be too concerned about all this stuff from here up. Because when you do the HTML in um, the assignment that's coming up, you don't really need all this stuff, not even the body. You just start using HTML. This one right here, page title, will put the page title up here. So introduction to HTML in this web page, the page title is introduction to HTML instead of my title. So this, this stuff didn't port through all the way to the... the um, tab because it's just a, um, a, a sample. So what we have is tags. There's a, so there's a tag name and the tags are always in brackets. Um, the content that you want to have between the brackets goes between the brackets. And then there's the end tag is a forward slash and then the tag, tag name. So whatever is going on keeps going on until the, the browser sees the close tag name. So here's like H1, my first heading, forward slash H1 closes that heading. Um, P, my first paragraph, forward slash P, that, that's the, a paragraph. So web browser, browsers will look at those text files and, and display them as whatever the tags say. 
and there's a little bit of an explanation of how that, it all works. Now, so what you're going to do is just going to have some very basic HTML you're going to put into the Schoology editor. So the Schoology editor part is I have um, in the sandbox course um, where I use the, the Schoology editor. So here's um, using the Schoology editor. This is just a, an assignment that shows how the Schoology editor works. And so I've already submitted a bunch of them demonstrating this. But we're going to resubmit the assignment and going to create. And so you start with this blank screen, right? So I'm going to take my um, HTML from my, um, my practice session here. I'm going to paste it into here, but before I paste, if I paste it now, it's going to show, whoops, I didn't copy. Let's go back. And paste. If I paste it now, it doesn't paste. It's You still see the tags. And so this is actually, um, when you paste this way, it this kind of pasting, you will see this on web pages where they're demonstrating um, where they're talking about HTML is there they'll have a little kind of gray box around it which shows the code and you could actually copy and paste this code and have it be HTML uh, in, you know, into a, a, a web document or an HTML document and have it work so it's designed for web pages to display code um, because the HTML for the code is different than the actual HTML itself a little bit confusing so let's take that out and go look at this little button right here. See where it says switch to HTML. So I have all these editing tools up here, but over here is switch to HTML. So I click on that and it turns into just a box. Now if I paste the code, the code just pastes in and it here's the, all the, the tags and the brackets and everything. And if I switch back, now it's displaying as HTML, what the HTML actually does. So now I'm going to add a bulleted list. Thing one, thing two, thing three, enter twice to get ready. So there's a little bulleted list. And that's done with HTML. So now if we go back to the HTML button and switch, here's what the bulleted list looks like in HTML. So what it is is unordered list. That the UL is the, the, the tag is unordered list list item thing one and list item one number one list item thing two and list item number two and so forth and so on so now we have this code here so you're going to have this is going to be part of your assignment now you could also make this centered um, and you should take the html from your you start with the html you take from the triad editor and put it here and add some of your own so let's add, I know the code for one of the few tags that doesn't have a close is HR for horizontal rule. And if we go back, now I've made a line. This line is part of the, so, so the fanciness that you see in some of my assignments is all done with HTML, a lot of which I just copied from some source and paste it in and then kind of, because once you, you can copy and paste and kind of fiddle around, you can manipulate some of the things you do in, um, in, in places that will accept code and make it look a little prettier and a little nicer. All right, I need to talk to that camera too, so you'll see when we, we, uh, record, we record. So now the next step, what I want you to do for this assignment is go to here and then copy the actual HTML code and paste it into the document. And you'll see what's gonna happen next is I paste it in here, and then there's the code in that gray box again. So if we switch back to HTML view, you'll see what I'm talking about. Because to display a bracket, you have to use the code for a bracket in HTML to make it display in HTML as a bracket. And you look here in the HTML editor, and it says uh, ampersand IT, uh, ampersand IT, and then H1. So ampersand IT semicolon is the code for the bracket and then ampersand gt semicolon is the code for the close bracket so instead of having um, open brackets and close brackets you have this stuff and the pre means 
print out exactly what you see on the screen, or, you know, use the code instead of, in, instead of everything inside this is um, displayed as text for someone to copy. So now if we switch back, you could actually copy this as HTML and it would paste as HTML. So then you submit and the assignment should look like this when you're all done. So if we look, let's click on the. So there's all the things that your assignment should look like. This is what it should look like when you're done. So you're going to have, you're going to use the HTML editor. I'll just click on the new draft so you can see it. You can use the HTML editor part of the create tab from the the uh, Schoology editor. And the HTML, so switch to HTML is this these little buttons right here. You can switch to HTML and do all sorts of fancy formatting on your um, on your assignment. And that's so. So let me stop the video.